This video is an introduction to the topic of waves and is the first of a whole series or playlist of videos on waves. Waves are all around us and it's hard to overstate their importance for understanding the natural world. You're familiar with everyday waves such as sound, visible light and waves on a guitar or violin string. Such waves have been studied for centuries and are well understood. On the other hand, gravitational waves first predicted by Einstein in 1916, were only first directly observed in 2015 and will continue to be a research frontier of physics for many years to come. This animation shows two neutron stars orbiting each other. The stars emit gravitational waves, ripples of space-time, which transfer away energy. This loss of energy explains the shrinking orbit and eventually the neutron stars merge. This merger results in a burst of gravitational waves and a brief but intense burst of gamma radiation, which is an electromagnetic wave. The result of the merger is a new, more massive neutron star. What I just mentioned regarding energy is in fact one of the defining features of all types of progressive waves. A progressive wave transfers energy from one region to another without transferring any matter Energy is transferred in the direction that the wave travels. All that the word progressive means here is that it refers to a wave that moves or travels from one place to another. For this reason, progressive waves are also known as traveling waves. You might think that all waves ought to travel or move, but in fact, there is a special class of waves known as stationary waves, for which this isn't true. We introduce stationary waves later on in the playlist. The idea that progressive waves transfer energy without transferring matter can be nicely appreciated with the following FET simulation, which we will be using often throughout this playlist on waves. In this simulation, we can create progressive waves on a string. Pressing the green button will cause the grey rod to move up and down, thereby creating a progressive wave, like so. You just saw a triangular shaped wave or wave pulse travel to the right along the string. Let's generate another one, but this time we'll pause the simulation soon after it's generated. We've frozen the simulation in time, i.e. we're looking at the wave propagation at a snapshot in time. If I were to press play, the green bead over here would move up, whereas the green bead over here would move down which means that both beads possess kinetic energy. In fact, the string here also possesses elastic potential energy. So we can say that this triangular shaped wave pulse contains energy, a mix of kinetic and potential energy. At this moment in time, however, the section of string over here doesn't possess any kinetic or potential energy. Let's now press play and then pause the simulation soon after again. Now this region of string over here, that a moment ago didn't have any energy, does now possess energy, whereas the region over to the left here no longer possesses any energy. In other words, the progressive wave has transferred energy from a region to the left to another region to the right. But no matter or particles were transferred in the process. No beads, green or red, moved to the right. They only moved up and down temporarily. Uh, thanks for listening. I'm grateful to FET for the simulation and also to NASA for the uh, neutron star merger animation. If you found this video useful, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. It would be great to hear from you. Take care and I hope to see you soon.